So guys, finally, Windows 11 25 H2 version has been officially released now. And you can upgrade your Windows 11 24 H2 to 25 H2 using the Windows update. Or either you can download the ISO from their official website. But today in this video, I will be talking about the Windows 10 user who want to upgrade their Windows 10 to Windows 11 latest version that is 25 H2 on the unsupported hardware. And let me show you the version here. This is Windows 10 22 H2. And if I run the PC Health Check application here, and you can see it says this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirement. TPM 2.0 must be supported. The processor isn't currently supported for Windows 11. And you might also have the same issues. So what you will have to do, I will share a simple trick with which you can bypass each and every requirement and you can upgrade to Windows 11 25 h 2 from Windows 10. All right, first what you have to do, you need to assure that you update all your pending update on Windows 10. So bring up the settings on your Windows 10, click on Windows Update, click on Check for Update and whichever update are available, kindly go ahead and update them. Once updated, bring up any of your browser, search for Windows 11 ISO download, click on the first website and you can see the version here, it's 25H2. So scroll down a bit, you will find download Windows 11 disk image, click on the drop down, choose Windows 11 multi edition, click on download now. Next it will ask you the product language and here you have to be very careful, you will have to choose the same product language which you have currently for your Windows 10. Don't make any mistake here. And in order to confirm what you can do, uh, click on Windows search, type PowerShell, right click on it or choose run as admin. In the PowerShell, you will have to type a simple command that will be get dash win system local. I will also leave this command in the description. You can copy and paste. Now once after typing this command, if you hit the enter key, uh, it will let you know the current language on your Windows 10 and on my end, you can see I have English United States. So I need to choose the same language for Windows 11 as well. So now I can go back and choose the English United States, click on confirm and click on 64-bit download. So the downloading will be now started and you can see the new Windows 11 25H2 is around 7.2 gigabyte, which is really huge. All right, so you will have to wait until the ISO has been downloaded. And once it get downloaded, just make a right click on it, click on mount, click on open, and you will find all the Windows 11 installation file here. So you don't have to click on setup here. Look for the sources folder, open it, and here in the sources folder, you will have to look for a file by the name setup prep. So press the S key and somewhere you will find this one setup prep. This is an application file and using this only, we will be upgrading our Windows 10 to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Now in order to begin the installation, what exactly we have to do, click on Windows search, type CMD or command prompt, open as administrator. And here we have to enter this location where our ISO of Windows 11 has been mounted. So you need to make a note of this drive letter. So if I go back to the file explorer where my ISO has been mounted and click on the address box, so you can see it's D drive. Even if you click on this PC, you can look for your drive that has been mounted. So on my end, it's a D drive. On your end, it can be different. So whatever it is, make a note of it. And then again, you have to come back to the command prompt. Type the same drive letter. So I will type D, then colon, and hit the enter key. So now you will be in the D drive. So exactly what we are doing here, we are reaching the destination where our ISO has been mounted and where we have the setup prep file. And it's in the D drive, in the sources and in the setup prep. So we will read the same location. So once we are in the D drive, now we will type CD space sources and hit the enter key. So now we will be inside the sources folder. And here only we can use our trick to install Windows 11. So the final command will be setup prep space forward slash product space server. Only this command you have to type. And once you hit the enter key, you will find the Windows setup will be coming up and it says install Windows server. So you don't have to get panic because it's not installing the Windows server. We are using the trick of Windows server to install Windows 11. Now, once you see this page, you will have to click on change house setup, download update and keep it to not right now. Then click on next. 
it will check your pc for the requirement and it will bypass everything so click on accept and then finally it will ask you choose what to keep so here you have three different options nothing keep personal file keep file settings and application keep the first option selected keep file setting and application and click on next now it will be preparing for the setup so you will have to wait for some time and it give you a preview that it will be installing windows 11 key file setting and application so click finally on install and the installation process will now be started and it may take some time so you will have to wait until it's all been done so let's wait here And even you will notice it won't ask you for any kind of Microsoft product to sign in. Uh, simply after configuration and everything, you will come to the desktop of Windows 11. And here it is. So we have finally upgraded to Windows 11 25H2. That is the latest version from Windows 10 on unsupported hardware. And if I show you the version here, so you can see it's Windows 11 version 25H2. Okay, so that's all guys for today and hopefully this video will surely help you. If yes, please hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.